Greetings and praise the Lord. Uh, welcome to our fourth uh, episode on uh, Spirit of Wisdom, and uh, it is on Wisdom Rewarded. Uh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we are glad that you have called us at a time like this to hear your word and even to proclaim the greatness of our God. We thank you that everywhere we go and everything we do, that your word enables us to release the wisdom that comes from you. We honor you, Lord, and ask you, Father, to be with us even as we continue to be in the kingdom and even to serve you. Help us, King of Glory, to overcome the challenges that are ahead of us. And we thank you for the challenges that we've managed to overcome. We know that even what lies ahead is not is going to lie down. And even as we continue to walk in your ways to please you and to glorify you. We thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, today we are going to have a look at a few verses on the, in the book of Daniel. And um, before I share on these few verses, um, Daniel was actually a young man from a noble family who was deported from Judah to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. That was uh, in 605 BC. The Babylonians trained Daniel for three years in their language and culture, and the Lord blessed Daniel with exceptional wisdom in these areas. He also gave Daniel the ability to interpret dreams. When Daniel interpreted the dream for Nebuchadnezzar, the grateful king gave him an important position in the royal court. After the fall of the Babylonian Empire, Daniel served in a similar role in the Medo-Persia Empire that succeeded it. Um, uh, so, well, da Daniel was, uh, fa uh, was faithful and the Lord who constantly refused to do, um, well, da Daniel was a faithful servant of the Lord who consistently refused to disobey God. And the same time, at the same time, he remained respectful to those in authority over him. Daniel, along with his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, did precisely what God had commanded the exiles to do in Jerusalem. Uh, that is, uh, I mean, in, uh, in the, in the um, where, where they were deported, uh, I mean, where, where they had been taken uh, as captives, uh, they were, he was able to obey. And uh, that was according to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 7. They were blessing, uh, they, uh, they were a blessing in their captors while at the same time remaining true to their Lord amid extraordinary pressures. Now, Daniel 2, 23 says, I, Daniel, offer thanks and praise to you, God of my fathers, because you have given me wisdom and power, and now you have let me know what we asked of you, for you have let us know the king's mystery. What a blessing at that God had revealed to Daniel and his friends, the mystery that was hidden, something that was not revealed even to the wise people, that those ones who are considered the wise people in Babylon, they could not receive the revelation. But God enabled uh, Daniel and his friends to get the revelation because the wisdom that they had is not ordinary wisdom, it was wisdom from God on high. And um, so that is why we see that um, that um, when when God answered Daniel's prayer, he praised and thanked God for his wisdom and might. So that is what we are supposed to do. Because one of the rewards we get because of wisdom, it is our prayers are answered. Because we normally pray according to the will of God. When we are praying according to the will of God, and you only do this if you have Christ as your Lord and Savior, 
And if you are filled with his power, if you have his wisdom, that is how you're going to please him. And as you please him, he's going to answer each and every prayer. That is our reward. The reward of wisdom is prayers being answered. And then in Daniel chapter 1, verse 17 to 18, God gave these four young men knowledge and understanding in every kind of literature and wisdom. Daniel also understood visions and dreams of every kind. At the end of the time that the king had said to present them, the chief officials presented them um, to Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. And then uh, in verse 19, at the end of the time when the king had commanded that they should be brought in, the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar and the king spoke with them and among all of them none was found like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah. Therefore they stood before the king and in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king inquired of them they found them ten times better than all the magicians and the enchanters that were in all his kingdom. And Daniel was there until the first year of King Cyrus. So one of the rewards, you know, you are given even the wisdom multiplied. You know, when you have wisdom from God, it is it doesn't just come just as wisdom in one package, it comes multiplied. You are given 10 times that you are compared with the other people. You are excelling 10 times because of the wisdom that you have in the, the Lord that has given you. So may you have this wisdom that Daniel and um, and his uh, he, he, and the other Hebrew boys had. May you have it. May you receive it from on high. It is there. It is yours for you to be able to design, to be able to have the revelation of great things, for you to have the revelation and even on how to answer when the king asks what is really going on, that you already have the revelation in advance. To do mighty and glorious things. In Colossians chapter 1 verses 9 to 10. For this reason also since the day we heard this. We, had, we haven't stopped praying for you. We are asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So that you may walk worthy of the Lord. Fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the knowledge of God. So that is one of the prayers we should be praying for one another. That the Lord will fill us with knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Because when we have all the wisdom from on high and the spiritual understanding, things are going to be easy will be able to handle things that people, other people cannot handle because we have that uh, wisdom and spiritual understanding. And you know what? We, are also, we also need to pray for one another that we may walk worthy of the Lord and that we may be fully pleasing to him, that we are supposed to be bearing fruit in every work and growing in the knowledge of God. So that is what that, that is how our prayer should be directed when we are praying for one another. That we pray that people will be filled with God's wisdom so that they are able to walk worthy of the Lord and even so that they are pleasing the Lord in everything they do. And as a result, as a reward, we'll be able to bear fruit. So in every work you do, there is a fruit that is going to be to be revealed, that is going to happen, that's going to take place. And then we are also continue growing in the knowledge of God. May the Lord help us as we get into this level, because our God is able to give us that which we ask of him. Job 12, 13, wisdom and strength belong to God. Counsel and understanding are his. We don't get wisdom and strength from anywhere else. It comes from God. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter whom you're connected to. Without God, you cannot have the kind of wisdom you're talking about. Without God, you will not get the revelation that you're talking about, the counsel and the understanding. Do you want to be counseled the best 
one, the best person to counsel you, the best counselor is God Almighty. The Holy Spirit is our counselor. He will give you counsel and you are going to overcome and become great and rich in everything you do. Then it says in Proverbs 21 verse 30, no wisdom, no understanding, and no counsel will prevail against the Lord. So let me tell you, if you are having wisdom, wisdom will allow you, the true wisdom that comes from God, it will allow you to please God. It will not cause you to fall or cause you to get out of the presence of God. The wisdom that comes from God, it pushes you to get deeper and deeper in the Lord. That is what is going to happen. And let me tell you, great things are going to happen in your life as you purpose that you know what you know as you continue seeking the wisdom that comes from God. There is going to be surely a we uh, there is going to be a reward for this wisdom. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to walk in his ways and as you choose to please him. Because you know. Um, as we see that even Daniel and his friends, hmm, they were, uh, and, and his friends' exceptional knowledge of Babylonian literature and wisdom, they, that is what they had. That is what they were, God gave them. Gave them this exceptional knowledge of Babylonian literature and wisdom. In addition, he gave Daniel the ability to understand all visions and dreams. God's favor enabled Daniel and his friends to answer all of Nebuchadnezzar's questions so that he found them ten times better than all of his pagan advisors. That is what is going to happen to you, that even all those that will try to give, to do anything against you, wherever you are, be it in your place of work, be it in your family, God is going to cause you to get even 10 times greater the wisdom that he gives to be able to do great and wonderful and mighty things. May the Lord bless you. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karyuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. Mother to the amazing champions and mother to the CMCs around the globe. Mm. I welcome you to partner with us in our website at www.agracem.org. Also follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke. And also on Facebook, it is uh, Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace. Uh, like, subscribe, and even share. Let's hear your comments. And God is going to bless you as you continue to pursue him because there is reward for his wisdom. Be blessed for now. Shalom, shalom, shalom.